Yo, hi there, and Comos.ca. I think that you said uh, later on in your email that you are flowing in Tagalog, and your main language is uh, Cebuano. Now, I'll be honest, I, don't, I haven't even heard of that language. I've heard of Tagalog from the uh, Philippines, but I've not heard of that first language. But, all right, let's take a look at your situation. You are in the middle of a battle, a big, big, big battle. So, first of all, Okay, so, you've taken the TOEFL test several times, you want to be a pharmacist, but you have not been able to put together your exact goal, which is 22 points on the reading, 21 points in the listening, 26 points in the speaking, and then 24 points on the writing, but you want to be higher than that. You want to get 26, 26, 28, and 28. So, working with the information that we know. You want you you got 20 points in the reading, you got 26 points in the listening, 23 points in the speaking, and then 24 points on the writing. So your writing is looking pretty good. So you need a boost. You need a boost for both your reading and your speaking areas. Am I right? All right. Here's what I recommend. The question is, you're saying is three is three weeks preparation achievable and realistic considering my goal? Uh, it's hard to say. Um, it, it's, it's difficult because you've been fighting for so long now. I'm going to say probably not. So I know that you want to beat and crush the TOEFL, but maybe three weeks isn't enough time. So here's my recommendation here. I'm going to recommend, just to be safe, two months of practice. Okay, so to help you with your reading, every day right now, I want you to sit down and read for about 45 to 60 minutes. Focus on, on magazines, newspapers, and longer books. This is very important. Now, your listening skills are already pretty good, so you don't need to do too much on that. So I'm going to skip that part. Now, as you're doing the reading practice, I want you to take notes on the main and the most important supporting points of the reading passages. Then, using your notes, I want you to write three summaries each week. Each summary should be 250 words. Keep doing that. Keep those writing skills strong. Now, I also want you to give three to five oral summaries each week. Each oral summary should be about 60 seconds, and you should record it. Now, you don't have to let me listen to these or read these things. You're just doing these on your own. So you're doing the reading practice already, and you're writing and speaking about those reading passages. Then, you should start going through my... I'm going to recommend my... Well, because your weaknesses, I'm going to say reading, maybe, speaking, and also pronunciation. I'm definitely going to recommend that. So maybe you're doing the reading, speaking, and the pronunciation areas of my course. That's where you're going to focus on more. So I'm not going to recommend a specific study guide, but I will say that it might take you longer than three weeks to reach your goal, but I cannot say for sure. Now, if you want to take the TOEFL, you can do that in three weeks, but I will not, I, I, I cannot offer any guarantees on your score. I can tell you this, Every time you post a speaking practice test, I'll score it in about 24 hours, approximately. Maybe, maybe 48 hours if I'm really busy. But I try to get them done as quickly as I can, right? So you know that you'll get feedback from me with your speaking practice test. You can complete any independent writing practice test you want on my website. You also get feedback there. Uh, in the reading part of my course, uh, I think you should work a lot on improving your reading speed. That's going to also help you with your comprehension, which ultimately means your uh, reading, academic reading proficiencies. All right. Anyway, thank you very much, and all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.